everyone, my name is Tash and I'm an artist based in the UK and I love how everything creative helps with our well-being and wellness and I love to spread that to everybody. So today would be day six of the daily crafty, arty sessions that I've been doing, all based around the theme of Panda. So tomorrow will be day seven, the last day. And I'm going to show you something I did last night. So I'm not actually showing you the process because I'm still learning. If you look back on my videos, I'm learning punch needling. Um, I've been making coasters of all sorts and I've made one of a panda. So I'll show you it now. Hang on, I'll turn the camera. Look! <laughs> He's so cute and yet so wonky, but that's the joy of handmade, isn't it? Look at his mouth. I couldn't quite get that right. Because you do all of the punching from behind, it was really difficult to try and get the mouth right, so he's got a bit of a funny looking mouth. Everything else went pretty much okay. His little paws, his little ears are okay, even the little white in the eye. But yeah, bless him, I'm not sure what's going on with his mouth. <laughs> but it was good fun having a go anyway. Um, I chose green in the background because I thought that would kind of represent like the trees and the bamboo that he likes to eat. And I've also sorted out all my punch needle and stuff that I've just bought. So I've got my um, soft, my, my thinner wool on this side. Got all the tools and the frames in the middle. And this is my thicker DK for when I want to do like the thicker, loopier punch needle in. So yeah, keep make sure you follow me. Uh, and, and check for any new videos if you want to keep up with my new hobby of learning to punch needle and you can learn from my mistakes you don't have to make them um yeah have a good day everyone again don't forget to follow and please interact with the video because it helps other people see it and helps them to be involved